All right, this morning I'm going to go over the .NET error. Collection was modified, enumeration operate may, operation may not execute. And um, this is an error that may come up in, in instruments like C Sharp, VB, or uh, PowerShell. And what this is really, it's a logical error. And sometimes when you're coding, it will come up just because it'll be like, oh, oh yeah, that, I can't do that. And uh, so I'll give you an example this morning. Um, basically, this script right here will, or this function right here, will loop through tables. If the table is like underscore TBD, it's going to drop the table. Uh, except you'll notice right here as well that during the tables being dropped during the for each. So the logic here is it's iterating over, uh, let's say, or we'll call it a, an array of tables or a list of tables. You can think of it as one or the other. And during that iteration, it's going to try to determine if the name is like this and then drop it. So what's happening is the logic basically here is it's trying to change the list array slash array as it's going over it. And same thing as if you if we tried to create a table, we would get a similar error. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, go to SQL Server, and I believe we have currently no tables with these names. Okay, so let's go ahead and create the tables. So that way we, we get to generate errors. So let's call the function, and you'll see collection was modified, enumeration operate and may not execute. And it did actually remove, I believe it's table TBD. Yes. So it did remove one of them, but now it's been modified. So it's not going to continue. So uh, since we're using PowerShell, I'm going to do the hack around in PowerShell with C Sharp. Basically, you'll, you'll always use the method to list. But in uh, PowerShell, what I've done here is added to the function a new array right here. and Or an empty array, not a new array, I'm sorry. And so I've added that empty array. Then I'm looping through the tables. Instead, what I do is I just add each table name that I want to drop um, to that new array. And you'll also notice the function's a little bit different here where I actually now can enter the keyword. Um, and so then after this for each loop is done, now we go through the array slash list of tables. And then we'll go through this array and actually remove the tables because this array will hold each table that we want um, to drop. And so, of course, let's just go through this. And you may wonder, okay, well, why is it that when we're removing tables in this array versus this array up here, um, this works? Because we're actually not removing the tables from this array. It, the tables still exist in the array. We're actually calling drop table on the server and database. That's why. So the, the array is actually still here. We're not removing elements from this array right this each table array. Um, that's the big difference. So we're calling a different command. So if you get this error, essentially the logic is you're trying to add or subtract from a list slash array and you're not able to do that. What you want to do is you want to add it um, to another list or the hack around that I would do is add it to another list or add it to another array and then edit that and there you go.